Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Halloween haul. I've picked up a bunch of stuff from quite a few different places so I'm really excited to share this with you and show you what kind of Halloween things you can find in the UK. <laughs> so if you love Halloween hauls then do keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will show you what I picked up. So the majority of this stuff is from TK Maxx but I've also got some things from New Look, Tiger and Primark so quite the range. <laughs> I'll start with the books I think. The first one isn't super Halloween it's more like gothic I'd say the first two items but I love having a look at TK Maxx for their books. I found some really cool things um, in their book section and they're also usually quite affordable. This one is definitely a little bit more pricey but I absolutely love these books. I think they have a name like something a noble. Yeah Barnes and Noble but they're basically these kind of leather massive <laughs> books and they've got a bunch of like different authors in there and I've got a Phantom of the Opera book and it's got the Phantom of the Opera in it and it's got some ones from like Edgar Allan Poe and Bram Stoker and a bunch of different stories and it's a gorgeous book and I just saw the spine of this and I was like what is that <laughs> like it's black it's gold it's red it said supernatural it's got like crows on it it's absolutely gorgeous and then I took it out and there was a plague doctor on it <laughs> So I kind of feel like this was meant for me, but that's what the spine looks like up close It's so pretty And then this is the front of it And you've got the plague doctor and then that's the back of it It's just a gorgeous cover and it's got stories from Edgar Allan Poe, HP Lovecraft um, and a few others and even like all of the front pages and it's like gold Oh, it's just a really nice book. <laughs> it's also got Charles Dickens, who else do I recognise? Arthur Conan Doyle, Robert Louis Stevenson. So it's like a big book with a bunch of different stories inside, but I love the cover of this. I feel like this is a really nice display book on like a coffee table or something. It was pricey. I believe I got it for either £15 or £19, um, but they're very good quality and it's just a beautiful book <laughs> um, and I absolutely love these so I did pick up this one quite a while ago and I got this next one yesterday and I did find it in a different TK Maxx like not my local one and it's Dracula so I've watched Bram Stoker's Dracula the film but I haven't actually read it and I would quite like to and I was kind of just I knew I wanted to read it and then I saw this in the book section and the cover again just got my attention so it's all like grey well it's more like a silver uh black and red and I loved like the dripping writing again the spine <laughs> is amazing and it's got like bats on it and it's just really cool that's what the spine looks like and then this is the cover it's just gorgeous and then the back of it it's just a really nice book this one isn't like a leathery feeling it's almost like a not a felt but like a like a foam kind of feeling cover um and then it's it's not gold or anything but this one was 7.99 and it said it starts off at like 18 dollars so that's not a bad price i'm quite excited to read this because this is on my reading list one of my first purchases in this haul was this notebook and i have been looking for this for quite a few months i saw this come up in the halloween uk group and i absolutely loved it because a lot of the wednesday stuff they're doing is very much based off of the netflix show i did watch the netflix show it wasn't as good as i was hoping it would be i'm not sure if it was like overhyped or what but i definitely prefer like the classic wednesday with like I don't know because there's like two ones there's the one that came out before and then there's the the one I'd say people know the most put a photo on the screen of the one I like I don't remember the actors names at this moment but I like this cast so anything with kind of that inspired artwork on it I really like and I feel like this is definitely that like she definitely looks like this Wednesday and I also really liked that it's got a cello on it I feel like this was inspired by the Netflix show but I do play the cello and I just love that it had a cello on it. It's got bats, it's got knives, cobwebs, roses, poison bottles, spiders, like creepy dolls, um, just like a bunch of things. It's just a really lovely design. 
and I was so happy when I found this. And then it says, in a world full of Mondays, be a Wednesday. <laughs> I just loved the design of this. And then it's just like a simple lined notebook. It does say the brand Studio by London, so maybe you could get it online by them or something. And it was $4.99, which I feel like is a good price. So I was really happy to pick up this. <laughs> I guess I'll just go through all the TK Maxx stuff first as I'm kind of doing it that way anyway. And the next stationery item I got is a to-do list. I kind of hummed and hard over this because I do make my own stationery, but I am kind of running out of a lot of my notepads that I use, especially like these types of lists, and it was only 2 99 So I felt like that was such a good price for something like this. You definitely get a lot of pages in there. It's basically a to-do list. So you've got like the circles and then the lines, and then it's got like a Halloweeny orange background. So that's what this one looks like up close but i definitely loved the design of this um and it's really handy for me to like make lists of stock that i've run out of and then i can tick it off once i've bought it so i find these really handy and they had a lot of other designs that i saw they're kind of like i mean christmas stuff is out at tk maxx now so if you are looking for halloween stuff you've probably left it too late but there are things on sale now so if you haven't started shopping yet and you want to grab some stuff definitely don't leave it any later because things are selling out i did see some other notepads but where you write the images were like way too dark so you actually wouldn't see your text very clearly i still think some of these bats are a bit dark but it's nowhere near as bad as like the other ones and it's definitely readable if i wrote on this so that's why i picked this one <laughs> so i got this and it's like a halloween storage box i love these it's like a hidden kind of book kind of thing i actually have one of these and it's a massive one and it's got all my crystals in that i'm selling so once i sell the crystals i'm going to sell the box because it's just way too big and i'm not crazy about the design of it but when i saw this i was like this is perfect it's a lot smaller and it's got that aesthetic that i like with like the creamy beige with the black kind of fine liner style with skulls and crows um i just love the aesthetic of this and then inside it's like all black velvet it's really nice so you could keep like um jewelry in here anything valuable and keep it in a bookcase which i think is just really cool um you could also keep bookmarks in it which i might do because i've i just have nowhere for bookmarks this one was 4.99 i feel like it's quite a standard price uh quality seems nice it's quite sturdy um and that's the design of it up close i just really liked this one they had other ones um some of the other ones looked really cool but they had spiders on which was disappointing um but yeah so i did get this and it's fairly lightweight as well which is always good <laughs> and the last tk maxx item i got was a tote bag so they bought out like a bunch of tote bags i think i hauled one in my last halloween haul actually i will link that in the eye for you um and it was like a bat wings one but i think they're supposed to be like a trick or treat bag for children <laughs> but it doesn't matter <laughs> like they're quite a good tote bag size like they're slightly smaller than a standard tote bag but they're kind of good if you just want like not a massive tote bag and this one is orange as you can see with a little happy pumpkin face it was 4.99 i feel like that's all right I suppose for a tote bag uh quality seems decent it's just like a kind of thinnish canvas and it's not see-through or anything so i thought this would be good like when i have my super halloweeny outfits to have this in my bag to like carry shopping and stuff so yes <laughs> i got a child's bag <laughs> and they also had like a cauldron one and a uh, one with a spider on i like the cauldron design but every single one i saw had like blue blotches on the white so that those didn't seem as good of a quality as like these ones i got two things from tiger i suppose as i just showed you a tote bag i'll show you my other one i literally gasped when i saw this and i actually scared my friend <laughs> who i was with at the time um but it's got ghosts on it and i love when things have like go well anything has ghosts on but especially like tote bags because i always find then they're, they're not ghosts like they're always something different so i really liked this and this kind of shows you the like a normal tote bag size like it's definitely a lot bigger than the other one and this one i believe was three pounds or three pounds fifty so definitely increasing from their prices last year but again i just love the design of this and i definitely have a tote bag problem now <laughs> 
<laughs> but at least they're like functional and they're very very lightweight and they're so handy because I always have like a tote bag in all my bags so I can never go wrong and the other one I got from Tiger was these tights now I haven't tried these so I can't like recommend them or anything but they're just kind of like web tights so I'll show you the photo of them on her but I thought the design looked really cool and there's no spiders in them which is always good and they just feel like really really soft and I kind of liked how they're fishnet and then they've got the webs going across them so I'd like to kind of try these quickly because if they're good I might get a second pair they were only four pounds so not bad I suppose for tights I don't know these seem like nicer quality like they feel quite soft compared to like Halloween tights that you find um, like they don't feel costumey so yeah I'm excited to try these I got two things from New Look and I will have a New Look haul coming because I ordered some clothes they have some really nice stuff in at the moment like now that autumn is kind of here even though I'm in like a best top <laughs> autumn is technically here but not really the shops are doing so much like velvet lace leather and I'm loving that <laughs> so I will have a haul um coming soon and Primark are doing like leather pinafore dresses H&M have some really nice like lacy black dresses so all the good stuff is coming <laughs> which is kind of dangerous <laughs> but the stuff I got from New Look in this haul is some just some like bat socks and these were I think these yeah £3.50 I'm sure they used to be three for six pounds or three for seven and now they're three for eight so they're definitely creeping up to ten pounds but I really liked this design I always pick up New Look socks they're probably the best place for New Look's New Look socks for Halloween socks in the UK I really like the designs they do each year they do quite a few um, so this was my favourite one. Really, really cute. And I haven't seen these since. Like, they seem to sell out of the Halloween socks quite quickly. Um, they do have them online, though, if you want to look at that. <laughs> but they also bring out fluffy socks. And I love that because, like, a few other shops will do Halloween or maybe, like, Nightmare Before Christmas socks. But fluffy socks are really hard to find. And these were £4.99. And they're purple and they've got black bats all over them. They're just again a really cool design and I always pick up their fluffy socks each year and the last items are all from Primark. Primark released a big ha not Halloween Nightmare Before Christmas collection because I think it's like a what is it like a 30 yeah 30th anniversary of the Nightmare Before Christmas and I have been saying for years why don't they do Nightmare Before Christmas because they do so much Disney stuff but it's always like Stitch like, I'm so sick of seeing Stitch stuff. Or, I don't know, just, like, stuff is a bit boring. Like, they never do the more unique Disney things. Um, I haven't seen any Disney villain stuff out in a really long time. So, yeah, I've been thinking, like, why don't they do Nightmare Before Christmas? Like, it's right there. <laughs> and this year, they have finally gone a bit all out with Nightmare Before Christmas, which I am really pleased about because I've been waiting for this for a while. Their stuff is mainly pyjamas. They do have, like, some sweatshirts, some hoodies, but I don't really like the designs of them, if I'm honest um what else did they do they do have fluffy socks but i never found them <laughs> and i think it might be a bit too late now but i did find the slippers and it was actually perfect timing because my slippers i'm using at the moment just need to go like they survived the summer so <laughs> they need to go but these are just really cute they're not my usual type of slippers i usually go for the ones that like go in at the back of your foot and like keep your foot in the slipper these are more like open but these are so cute and they're so fluffy which I really liked so yeah it's just got like a jack face there with his bow tie and then this is like super soft they're striped inside and they're quite solid on the backs of them they're not like soft or anything they are more of like a hard sole um, and I got mine in a three to four and they fit me really well they only had a three to four when I found them uh, i've been back since and they had a five but i believe the sizes are going to be quite hard to find um but i think i'm just lucky that i have small feet and probably the three is not the, the best seller <laughs> really pleased i found these i don't remember the price i feel like seven or eight i want to say i feel like it was an all right price for some slippers and i also found pajamas i love primark pajamas my primark pajamas seem to last for quite a few years um they do end up like cracking eventually and i have thrown some pairs away but considering they're primark they do last me quite a good amount of time so the first pair i found were the fleecy ones and 
I found these on like a TikTok video and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go to Primark. And I found the leggings and the hoodies. So these were £12 and these were the only things I could find apart from that big like hoodie thing. Um, it's like massive and oversized. It's got like a jack face on the hood, but I didn't really want that. Um, but I found the leggings and I love these kind of legging pajamas. They're definitely my favourite style that like cuff in at the ends and they're so soft like they're so cozy and fleecy and at the time I was like I'm just gonna get the leggings because I wasn't sure if I wanted the hoodie if it was just like a sweatshirt that matched I would have 100% got it but I don't really like pajamas with hoods on I know they're supposed to be kind of loungewear but I just wear these as pajamas so I was a bit undecided about the hood and then I saw more TikTok videos and then someone wearing it all together and I was like, oh, I really want the hoodie. Um, even if I didn't wear it for bed, I could wear it over the top for like lounging around or something. And I went back and they don't have them anymore. <laughs> and I've checked quite a few other Primarks when I've been just out and about and I cannot find them. So I was a bit <laughs> annoyed at that that I didn't get it for the first time around. But never mind, I have the leggings. They were £12. People were saying they're prices are kind of creeping up and i can definitely see that i feel like these used to be eight pounds but they do feel like really nice quality they are really fleecy so i got these and i can wear them with my slippers anyway <laughs> and the last items are a matching set so i could always wear this really with the other leggings but these came as one of those like flat pack ones where they're like tied together with ribbon but i tried these on to make sure like they were okay and the quality was like good um i did have one instance but it was from sainsbury's that i tried on pajamas and they had a hole in them so i had to like send them back so i always try on my things like before i throw the receipt out and stuff these are like wider so if you don't like the legging style these are definitely a lot wider but they still cuff in at the end and they've got like jack faces zero sally like all of the characters on here and they're just black and they've got a stretchy waist i got mine in a 10 to 12 they're definitely more forgiving than these these i found i could get them on and they were comfortable but i wouldn't want them any tighter whereas these are a tiny bit loose um but it's fine they're pajamas they'll be all right <laughs> and then the top i really liked because it's got like stripes on it in black and white so i love this design i love it when their stuff's also just black and white i feel like it's just really effective i just i don't like when they slap that spiral hill like poster on a t-shirt they did that with the hoodie like that's not my favorite design at all <laughs> but i love this i think it's really nice and it's a short sleeve t-shirt so this is kind of perfect because i prefer pajamas that are longer in like the trousers or leggings or whatever they are um and then a the t-shirt because i i just get too hot if it's a long sleeve t-shirt unless we're in like the middle of winter so this is perfect and i believe it was 16 no 16 things i've cut it off so i've cut off the labels but i believe it was 15 or 14 or 16 around there so definitely more expensive than the other stuff as i said if you're looking for halloween stuff definitely go and check out the shops now don't leave it any later because things are definitely selling out but i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've been finding anything um and also what your favorite item was from this haul do subscribe and like this video and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye